Hello, it's me, Ordinary Girl Trying to Be Fabulous. I just wanted to come and make a video this afternoon and say hey and hello and all that good stuff like that. If you hear wearing in the background, that is a fan. It is hot outside, triple digits. We're in the middle of a heat wave. And you know, I'm coming from a different location. I didn't like the other location. I thought it was boring. I would love to include my dogs in these videos. I did have a dog right here, but she decided she had to go chase a grocery bag or a squirrel or something. So she ran off. So um, it's pretty hot, you know, the fan, the new hair. Cause like this morning I, you know, got up and did my shower and washed my hair. And then like an hour later, my hair was still as wet as as if I had just washed it. So then I was like blowing it dry and it was really hot and I thought, you know, I'm not pulling out the uh, heating tools. It's not happening. So with all that being said and going on and on and on, I'll tell you my story. And you know, this is the story of my first love and I, um, you know, I really, I almost didn't want to tell it because this guy, he's probably married and has kids by now. And so, you know, um, I just want to let you know if you're out there watching somewhere that don't worry, I won't share your name. I have way too much respect for you. So, uh, with all that being said, I will continue. Let's see. This guy I met at a, at a church event. Um, we had a church event every week and our mutual friend brought him and we got along so well at this church event that I mean by the end of it we were dating we were exclusive that's how that's how good we got on and uh, you know see I was 15 and he was 17 and when I was 15, I was a completely different person. You know, if I think about it, I cringe because I wasn't the same person I am now. Oh, excuse me. I have a little frog in my throat. So, um, we dated four months and it was pretty good. And even though I wasn't always the nicest person and I didn't always treat him very well and I'm not going to make an excuse for it because you know when I was 15 you would probably consider me like a horrible human being I was just I was not I was not a good not a really good person I'm you know, I would sit there and say, oh, I wasn't in a good place. But that's not really, that's not really it. Um, I just wasn't a good person then. I've grown. I'm a much better person now. So we, I was 15 and he was 17. We dated for four months. I was supposed to go with him to his prom. But um, I didn't because we broke up before then and he went to the he definitely went to the prom I think you know we had the same name the girl and I the girl he went to the prom with because you know I broke up with him and I didn't care about him but um, our mutual friend you know I would always ask her questions and stuff because I didn't care but I cared so then you know he would come back to our little group thing every once in a while and I was weird and I didn't know how to treat him so I was like um mean meaner if that's possible I was I didn't I didn't treat him very good didn't treat him very well at all and that's like the biggest regret of my life whenever I think of somebody that I knew in my past that I did not treat well. 
and that's that's a regret. I um, but especially this guy, because you know, everything he was just such a nice guy, and I did not treat him like a nice guy should be treated. So you know, after a while, he didn't come back to our little things, our little youth things, and then um, it was a couple of years later. I was interested in another fella. This this guy was being baptized, and I wanted to get him a card, a baptism card, and um, so I went to a Christian bookstore that I never ever go to in a town that I never ever go to that I barely ever visited. And uh, who's who do you think is behind the counter? This guy that I dated when I was 15. And so I didn't recognize him because I was a total loser. And he recognized me. And, in, you know, the guy that I was buying the card for, he, um, we, he, I was just interested in him. It wasn't like we were exclusive or anything. So I totally could have said, oh, well, you know, um, Here's my phone number. Give me a call. We'll get together or something like that. But I was interested in this other guy. So I blew that chance. And uh, then, you know, later on, I was at, uh, my niece was, at, it was my niece's school. It was her banquet. Because, um, like, in, in, like, Christian schools, they don't have, actually, they don't have a prom. They have a banquet, you know. But, uh, so, you know, we're at the banquet. And we are seated at a table. And his sister goes to the school that my niece goes to. So, we are seated with his parents and his sister. And this is this is a after, a couple years after the baptism card incident. P.S. The guy that I bought the baptism card for, he was just not that into me. But I have I have trouble, you know, chasing guys that are just not that into me. That's like the story of my life. Um, so we're seated. So his mom recognizes me. And she says, you know, hello, and I think his sister was in my niece's class, and we talk, and, you know, he's still single at this time. So, you know, I, uh, I write him a letter, and I tell him how sorry I am that I treated him poorly, and uh, I give him my contact information. But you know what? It was too late. Too little, too late. And so, with that, I believe that that is the deepest regret of my life because I was given all these opportunities to date a really nice guy and I blew them because of my actions. And so, with that, you know, um, like, I'm thinking, you know, he's I guess he, I, I lost contact with him and I'm acquainted with our mutual friend but don't really have much contact with her anymore. And so with that, you know, my story is not unique. It happens to everyone. I just wanted to tell it because I figure maybe I could help someone out. Some girl out there, guy along the way, I figure I could help you out. Learn from my mistakes. And so with that, I am going to say, this is Ordinary Girl, and this is the channel you never asked for, and the one you never wanted. And I'll see you next week. Okay, thanks, bye.